It's our pleasure to have Tom Farley, the president of the New York Stock Exchange, joining us here on Fox Business to talk about the recent IPO market, initial public offering. So after the slowest quarter since 2009, we've had a resurgence. We had uh, MGP yesterday, today we have another. So tell us about what, what has changed and why we have the IPOs now picking up. Yeah, it's, it's hard to get it's hard to be a slower quarter than zero IPOs, which is what we had in the in the in the first quarter. Um, but uh, good news, it really has picked up. It's picked up quite a bit. So we had a billion dollar plus IPO yesterday. Right. Uh, we had a couple hundred million dollar IPO today. Both priced near the top of the range. Both traded. Their first trade was again above where it priced the night before. And both are trading very very smoothly in the aftermarket, which is what which is what you look for. So that's a that's a good sign. So I know you were thrilled yesterday with the MGM properties. And so ultimately, and we still see the up arrow today once again. So what do you, this is the first billion dollar IPO we've seen since first data last year. So, I mean, how do you get those into the building? How do you get the big guys into the New York Stock Exchange? Well, I think in general, when there's a big IPO, they, they are in the building. In fact, if you look at billion dollar IPOs, uh, we do every one. Uh, I think we've had the last 10 here right. at, the, at the New York Stock Exchange. Um, so the, the bigger issue is, is there a market that's acceptable for larger, exciting companies? And it feels increasingly like there is now. Right. And so we're, you know, for the first time, our phone's ringing with people calling us. I heard saying, you. I'm going to interrupt you because I please. heard you talking about June and maybe some things in the pipeline, please. several that maybe dropped out because of tough market conditions. And now it's a different picture. You feel why? Well, we, and what are you seeing? Like you just said, if you remember, there was a lot of exciting companies, many filed publicly, some privately, where you may not know the name that intended to go public in the last four months of last year. Those companies are still there, they're still good companies, they're still ready to go public. And right. now, if you look, the uh, there's an inverse correlation between volatility and the number of IPOs. When volatility is high, there's very small IPOs. Well, volatility is low again. It's at its long run average or even long run lows. And so now, and now I expect to see many more IPOs. So what, what excites you now? What excites you in the next six months? I, I, the New York Stock Exchange and the IPO market. I mean, you know, this is your thing. Look, in a, in a volatile market, we see a lot of trading. And so from a business perspective, that's that's a good thing for us. And we, and we see relatively fewer IPOs. I personally much prefer uh, these lesser volatile periods and, 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 and more IPOs. That's what gets me excited. I, mean, I, I think of a company today like American Renal. You know, I had an aunt uh, who had kidney issues, who had to get dialysis treatment. Right. And these guys started a, a business in their house They've built it up. They're providing great service. They care deeply about their core values, and they're improving lives for people who are uh, patients of, of dialysis. I get really, I get really excited. You feel in touch that. because yesterday you were talking about personal stories related to MGP. Tell us that quickly. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I mean, I feel like the luckiest guy in the world with my You're job. You're talking about Marilyn, so your relation M there. MG MGM has invested, uh, I believe it's four hundred million dollars in PG County, Maryland, which is where I grew up, which is an area that needs investment, I'll, I'll put it that way. And so welcoming them in here as somebody who grew up there, my father, my sister, my brother, they all still right. live there as a company that's creating jobs and providing a beacon of hope. That was something that I was excited about. Right, yesterday. and that's really nice. I'm just also just gonna give a big picture here. The New York Stock Exchange. Everybody always wants to know, how do you continue to grow uh, the New York Stock Exchange? What is the outlook for the stock exchange, near term, long term, what's in your vision? I mean. We just focus on customers, and that may sound trite, but it's absolutely the truth. How's it feeling? And when you focus on customers for trading and for IPOs, things work out, and things are working out for us. Right now, our market share is as, as, as high as it's been in many, many years, mm -hmm. uh, both for trading, but also on the listing side. As I said, all of the right. larger, exciting companies are, are substantially all are, are choosing that. So you're NYC. talking about market share growing, so that's good news. Yeah, yeah no, that's things good are, news. Things and are then good your thoughts on the economy, rates, Yellen, presidential election. I don't Where are you going to jump in there? Any I, of those? I don't want to jinx it. I'll just, I'll just make a personal observation, which is the markets are back at all-time highs, right? We're right. within a percent no. or two. It doesn't feel that way because a lot of our friends are still at companies that are having difficult times, whether in the oil and gas sector or even in the f finance sector. But things are pretty things are pretty good right now. I, I don't want to prognosticate or talk about it too much because I don't want right. to jinx it. What are you going to do for the Dow hits 20,000? Uh, hopefully, uh, hopefully win some more IPOs. <laughs> good answer. All right, Tom Farley, president of the New York Stock Exchange. Thanks for joining us and also uh, bringing some confidence to the market. The IPO market is back. We're glad to have you on Fox Business. Thanks for having Thanks. me.